So I have cool news. I, uh, <laughs> I tried to record a new episode by doing a Twitch stream, and it turned out terrible because it just wasn't handling it very well. So, let's see. I did one quest. I finished one quest um, that I was confused about last time. I also talked about various things. And I'm sad it's all gone. I think everybody does this though. Um, so you'll notice that I messed up the grass. <laughs> and so... Basically, okay, since the last episode I was watching a speedrun to try to figure out what to do next. And I noticed that when the person went in here this just goes straight to the novice arena in my game. I'm running point 15. They were running point 16, version point 16. And it went into like a little sub room and there were more arenas to do. So it turns out point, version point 15 is like three years old or so. Um, version 16 is maybe a year or two old, I don't remember. Uh, so things were different. So I went ahead and I have um, both the versions downloaded and I also watched this Anatomy of a Role-Playing Game by one of the developers and that gave me some more insight into how this all works. But um, since I was completely confused as to what to do, where to go and all that, I decided to start playing it again in version point one six and write a walkthrough along with it. So. I've been making the maps for the different areas to go to, and I remember what I'm doing better now. Uh, so that's good. And then I, I was going to try to finish the game in version 16, but... Here, we'll go ahead and save I'll open that other version. Uh, let's go back. We will run Free Droid RPG 0.16, Source Free Droid. Which also messes up my config file, which is so much fun. Uh, so, in my attempt to get through this fast, I did never bought the mini-map. I did this quest here, and it turns out there are randomly generated dungeons. And, um, I also didn't buy any teleporters. So I tried to get out of here, but I'm just completely lost. And there's not multiple save slots, so... I'm kind of, you know, not working so good. <laughs> not not doing well. Um, so over here I decided to go ahead and uh, kind of catch up. I wasn't very far behind on my other save game, uh, but I s decided to try to do a Twitch stream. I was like, this is a not very intensive game. Of course I can run OBS and this at the same time, but I can't. It's recorded, but it's very, um, like, negative five frames per second or something. Uh, you can hear me talking throughout it, but you can't really watch the gameplay. So that's cool. Um, so maybe I'll just highlight stuff that's different between versions, like for instance, Water Moves in version 16. I could go ahead and also run that. Um, let's I open a new tab here. And run... Free Droid RPG, point 16, source, free droid. And now it's probably gonna really mess up the config file if I do this, but. Load. Oh, wait, I can't teleport back because I'm not done. Oh, well, I would show you, but maybe not right now. Okay, so uh, in the game I was playing on Twitch, I did end up fixing, uh, finishing the tool quest. Uh, this guy down here, Dixon, the engineer or mechanic or whatever, was missing his tool chest. I went down here to the maintenance shaft and I killed something that looks like one of those Doctor Who robots and whatever and took the tool chest. I could have done a quest for it, but I decided not to because I don't want to do more quests. <laughs> um, also, 
again, I've been writing the walkthrough along with this, so I've found multiple places where in my previous playthroughs I had found them but I forgot where they were, so um, now I have a lot of teleporter homing beacons, and I was at the next quest location but I went ahead and teleported back. Uh, I have a lot of... I have 26 antibiotics, but those are like the weakest things for healing, I think. Antibiotic? No, it's 40. For some reason he doesn't have the best stuff right now. Uh, I apparently picked up a bottle of, it's supposed to be Barf's energy drink, but it looks like the Ball's energy drink that I buy from Micro Center here. Um, that all of my early 20s friends were into when I was younger. Uh, okay, and if I need to go buy more teleporting homing beacons, those are in here, where Skippy is. So now I know more of what's going on with the story, I know where people are better. Um, you can see that I've changed some of the graphics around. Uh, I'm kind of like reskinning stuff as I play a little bit, so this is a little bit more Final Fantasy inspired. Um, here's a couple icons I drew here. And I've just been kind of, like I updated these to swinging doors instead of the laser fits. So possibly as I continue playing through the game, things will slowly get updated. Um, with the grass here, I had made the assumption that everything in the map would be grid-based. It is not. He also talks about that in um, the anatomy of a role-playing game video. Uh, Arthur Quayle. I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, well, let's go talk to the, um, the Red Guard HQ. Okay, so if you happen to remember better than I did, uh, there's that guy Kevin. When you first enter the town, the guard is like, hey, Kevin stole, this weird guy stole some shit from us and ran away. We went to the Red Guard. Um, this guy made us do some quests to become a red guard. We are a red guard now. I can buy stuff here if I need. Do you have anything? Uh, armor. Armor? So that Item one. Sold. Buy this one. Item bought. I do not have enough money right now for anything. Item sold. But that's okay. Uh, so. We did a quest for Kevin where we killed a bunch of droids in his garden so that he could keep doing his work. Then he was like, I did my work, now I have this data, but I need a cluster to analyze it. And he was like, yeah, go take this to a cluster in the town. I can't go there. I, Kevin, cannot go there because they hate me for some reason, but nobody's really identified yet. So then I brought it to here to this Richard guy. Hello. Oh, yeah, he's invisible now. And he analyzed it, then he gave it to Spencer. And I came over here and talked to Spencer again. And the idea is that they want to invade the Hell Fortress? I don't know if I can really... Okay, not, not really any new stuff here. Um, they want to invade the Hell Fortress, which is where the rogue droid is, That's or something that's creating all the other rogue droids that uh, are killing things. Um, somewhere along the way I learned that those rogue droids are running a proprietary operating system and that's why they've gone rogue and whatever uh, and then the next thing is from that data from Kevin's data he said uh, there's an external place outside of the hell fortress that has a shielding thing disruptor shields or something and that we can go there and infiltrate it to get rid of the shield and then go to the Hell Fortress. So that's what I was doing. Um, in like, I haven't finished that quest in either of these games. I just started it in the other one before I got lost in the procedurally generated labyrinth. So we're gonna go over to that place. Um, the Red Guard leader told us that he has a couple of guys uh, scouting there. They found it and opened the gate, and but they haven't responded or anything. 
So we're gonna go over there and try to turn off the shielding device. Again, ignore my grass problems. Um, from the architecture video, they addressed the fact that they made the coordinates continuous and not grid-based. Because they thought it would make for better level design, more abilities for the level designers. That is not the case. And, um, well, I mean, I don't know. It just seems like maybe more trouble than it was worth. So that's why my grass is all messed up. Because it was clearly kind of just placed here and there. Um, okay, so from Kevin's house, we need to go north. There's all these robots. We are going over to the disruptor base, which is just a beeline from Kevin's. So here's Kevin's, here's where we're going. Uh, oh yeah, and at the end of the last time I messed up my save file, I luckily only soft deleted that save file. It was in the trash bin, so I restored that. I still have my 99 level or 100 level stats. We'll try to update that again. I will try to not corrupt my save file this time. I... what is the word? Uh, hubris? Because <laughs> I had been modifying my save file for my other game too, and it went okay every time, no problems, and then I just blazingly changed my save file here and then I messed it up, so. We'll try to change those stats again. It could also be something with like the version number, like maybe 99's the max, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Let's go into the save directory. I'm going to be very careful and make a backup. <laughs> so we're gonna copy this, put it there. We're going to extract. Open it with the hex editor look for our base stats. Uh, oops. Base. Oh, what? Don't, don't look for the extra stuff. Um, let's just work with base dexterity. Why is my hex editor look a little bit weird? 99. We're going to just save it like that, oops, and I already made that back up, so I'm going to delete this now and compress this one and hope that works. So let's run version 16, what, oh this is my other thing. And over here, let's try to load. Let's hope it doesn't completely break. They also talked about lack of, um, uh, like, reverse working for the save files in that talk, if you're interested. It's 45 minutes. You can get it on the Free Droid RPG website. I'll just go there right now. Free Droid RPG! It was actually in the FTP directory. Download. FTP server. And then I downloaded it from here because I was downloading different versions. Um, you can also see how old these are. So we have point nine is from a long time ago. Uh, I'm kind of interested in seeing how much things have changed since then. And yeah, so that's that. Um, it thinks that I'm very low on health now, but now I have quite a bit of health, so that's good. So I'm just gonna use some of these health potions. Uh, probably doesn't matter a whole lot. Actually, since I have plenty of teleporters, let's just go ahead and teleport. I'll have the doctor um, heal me. And uh, then we'll continue on our way. Please fix me up. Now, do you have better healing stuff? No, you do not. I think that's randomly generated. I think you could literally just talk to the person again and get different things in the shop. I don't know. Let's go.
Let's go in here. Maybe, please. Please don't make me walk all the way back. This worked in version 0.16. Does teleporting back not work in this version? Cool. Well, now I'm healed. I, it's not that much of a walk, but... And of course, when I started playing this, it was just the install from the um, package manager for the operating system. And I didn't even think that my version of Linux Mint was that old, but I just had an old version of this in there, so... Go build your games from scratch, kids. You get the latest version. Get over here! Oh, no. Do I need to go up more? Yeah, I do. I don't remember if there was an auto run cap lock. No. Oh, here we go. At least I can teleport back to town. So many robots. Um, if you are interested in the video, they were saying they were looking for more people to contribute maps and stuff. They wrote a uh, procedurally procedural level generator. Which we'll see some random maps here in a minute. Um, and from what I understand, there's like an act one already done, but they want to have other acts. And you can kind of look around on the website for more information on that. But let's go ahead and try to try to do this. So I have a map of this area. We're coming in over here. We want to go over here to disable that shield. There's a door here that's locked. I don't know if that just is unlocked after I disable the shield or not. I didn't get that far because, again, it has um, randomly generated levels and I did not take teleporters with me when I went. Now it's really dark on the thing. Let's move this over here. Okay, so we just need to go this way. The strength is not as good as it should be. I didn't change it to 99 that one time, but we're gonna keep going. Uh, okay, wait, where am I? I'm with a bunch of computers. Okay, I'm here. Oh, I have to go all the way around. Cool. So much fun. Let's go this way. But now, my health does not go down very quickly because I have a lot of it. Okay, this one's open, and now we're in a new map. And here, I think we're here. Can't go up. Or no? Okay, we're. Sp I think we have to go this way at some point. But this door's locked, and we can't open it. Open gate. Security access denied. Contact personnel in machine deck control room. I believe this is an error. So we're gonna go try to turn off that shield, which is just down this way. Run past these guys. There's a locked door, so we want to go forward. These are not the terminals we need. We need to keep going this way, in, and 
over here. I'm just kill these guys so I don't have to deal with them. See, that like heals everything. Okay, so down here is where we're going. We got a couple levels of procedurally generated areas to go through, which is great. I tried to make a map of it, and then I went back to play it, and I was like, wait, this is not the right map. And then so I went in and made another map, and I opened it up, and I was like, wait, this is still not the right map. And then from that talk, I realized they have random maps sometimes, so... So, just gotta keep going through here and try to find our way. Hello, kitty cat. So I'll open chests to help me figure out where I have been. Also, I have the mini map maker this time, so that's gonna help. I hope. Die. So. Mm, I don't know. Go. If I were modifying these maps to make them better, I would. Maybe make wider corridors because I seem to still have trouble walking through them. I can use my keyboard to kind of move one tile at a time, but that is not great for a lot of movement. So that's the grass area. Oh, this is a dead end. Let's try this way. Check system integrity book. And the strength bell. Huh. I also wish I had a big area of attack so I could just obliterate lots of barrels. And I have to hit them all. This is a dead end, isn't it? Okay, there's more on the north side, but I don't know how to get there yet. We might not even need to go there. Just looking for a way to the next level. Okay, I think you're supposed to have the invisibility spell to like just avoid everybody, but why would you want to do that? I think this is where we need to be. This quick fix should do it for now. Okay. To the lower catacombs. That teleporter works. And we have to find another um way down. So this is also another random area. Gotta find the way to the next floor again also. And then we can kill the right one. I was looking at what other open source RPGs there are, and I know of at least two. There's one called Flare, and there's that Dave Smallwood game, which I have played a little bit through before. Uh, which is not the best writing either. But maybe I'll play through them another time. Also, the. Um, I think Smallwood has a lot of mods, or a lot of uh, custom things. Oh, here we go. That's where I need to go. 
and there's our second scout. I think I had some few scouts, and neither of them had responded. So there we go. Please, please attack. Maybe. to finish up this part. I don't know if I wanna... I'd almost rather like just walk back from town again than go through the uh, maze. I'm already feeling kind of mad at the maze. <laughs> Mazes are so much fun, aren't they? It's my favorite thing. Is this the terminal? That is not the terminal we need. Uh, we need a different terminal. Can you see the cat? There's the cat. There's the terminal. Is it up here? Yes, I think this is it. What was that noise? Cats? Terminal! We're going to disable the force field. Someone's using the computer. Disruptor shield is active. Okay, we're going to change the password. And then we're going to disable the force field. Yay, we've disabled the force field. We need to use some potions, maybe? Okay. I'm going to just warp back. And go talk to the doctor really quick. Right. I think that's enough for now, and then if we need to, we'll go walk back. All the way this back. Should do it for now. Go ahead and save. So I hope that was interesting. Now we have to figure out what to do with that shield down. Oops. I don't know. Was that this guy down here? Um... Done quests. Okay, we don't need the arena one. Oh yeah, this is just some robot that was doing some naughty stuff in the basement. So I guess we kind of technically finished that other quest, but next time we'll talk to the dude. So, yay!